If you are looking for some of the very best plug and play tactics for FM23, you have come to the right place. Whether you're just short of time or you fancy a complete overhaul of your tactics, here on the channel I will be testing all of the tactics so you don't have to. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at an attacking 4132 made by GYR. In today's tactic testing video, I'm going to be looking at the 4132 Bane, and it is designed by GYRFM. You haven't seen any of GYR's tactics across the community. You really have been missing out. He does such hard work building these tactics and putting them out to the community. Cannot thank him enough for being one of the good guys in the community. In today's video, we're going to break this tactic down. So let's start off by looking at the positions. We're going to start off with a sweeper keeper set to defend at the back on the left hand side you've got an inverted wing back set to support you have two central defenders in the middle of your defense and on the right hand side you have an inverted wing back set to support moving up the pitch we have a deep lying playmaker set to support on the left you're going to have a winger set to support in the middle a central midfielder set to attack and on the right hand side a winger set to support. At the top of the pitch you're going to have two advanced forwards, the first one on the left and the second one on the right. So as I said this is a 4-1-3-2. It comes with a tactical style that is just simply 4-1-3-2. Its mentality is attacking. Its in possession looks like this. Its in transition looks like this. It's out of possession, looks like this. So GYR makes some of the most popular tactics in the FM community. Today I'm going to put this one through its paces with Everton, Sassuolo and Valencia. The first team that we are looking at in the tactic tester is Everton. They are in the Premier League. We can see that they have finished 10th in the Premier League. And if we break down that 38 game season, we can see that they played the 38 games. They won 16 of them, they drew 9, they lost 13 games, they scored 77 goals, but they conceded 77 goals, that gave them a 0 goal difference, and they finished the season on 57 points. And as I said, they did finish in 10th place, but when we look above them in the league, they are only 3 points behind West Ham, and West Ham qualified for the Europa Conference League. Going further than that, you can see that they finished 7 points behind Newcastle, who qualified for the Europa League itself. However, when you get further on up the table, you can see that they actually finished miles behind Manchester City and Liverpool were in a complete different league of their own. If we go to the profile page for the league, we can see that they feature with some uh, stats in the categories. If we go to the goals first, we have Neil Maupoy getting 17, Dominic Calvert-Lewin getting 15 goals. When we move across to average ratings, we have Calvert Lewin with 7.45. Alex Awobi got 11 assists. Player of the match awards, that goes to Calvert Lewin with just four. Clean sheets, let's have a little look. With 77 conceded, I'd be surprised. Pickford only got six clean sheets across the season. So they have Mikolenko with 16 yellow cards and Awobi with 12. So disciplinary issues maybe for some players there. They have Ghana with 15.31 kilometers covered per 90 minutes. Coleman with 3.51 and Gray with 3.48 tackles per 90 minutes. And in the dribbles per 90 minutes section, we can see they don't have anybody in there. So a decent start really to kick us off in the tactic test at Everton, who are one of the teams in real life who are in the relegation mire. They really are going through it. But this tactic has managed to get them as a mid-table team and you could probably kick on if you were to play into a second season. Look at the other competitions. They got through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. They were knocked out by Arsenal and they were knocked out in the second round by Leicester City in the Carabao Cup. The next team that we are going to be looking at is Sassuolo and straight away in Serie A you can see that they have finished in ninth place. If we break down their 38 game campaign, they played 38, they won 18 games, they drew 4, they lost 16, scored 79, conceded 74, they had a goal difference of 5 and they picked up 58 
points now. Once again, they finished in ninth. Looking above them in the league, they finished six points behind Roma, who finished uh, in seventh and qualified for the Conference League. And they finished 13 points behind Juventus, who finished sixth in the Europa League places. They did finish miles off of the top two teams in the league. If we go into the profiles, we can see that Berardi got 26 goals and Pinamonte got 25. Pinamonte got 7.4 average rating. For the assists, we had Pinamonte get 11 assists and Fratesi got 9. In terms of player of the match awards, Pinamonte got 7. Clean sheets, goalkeeper Consigli got 6. For yellow cards, there is nobody in that section, so not too bad for the discipline for Sassuolo. They had Haroi gets 15.12 kilometers per 90 minutes and Torsbed 14.96. Uh, Rogerio got 4.15 in tackles per 90 minutes and Kiriapoulos 3.64. And dribbles per 90 minutes, Emil Seed getting 4.06. So a decent season for Sassuolo. Again, one or two more wins here and there, and they would be pushing for those European competition places. Break down the other competitions they took part in. So they only played in the Coppa Italia Coca-Cola, and they were knocked out in the second round by Frosinone. So a decent league campaign, not so good in the Cups. Let's see what happens when we go across to Spain. So we have moved across to Spain. We are looking at Valencia and they have finished fourth in La Liga and they have qualified for the Champions League. If we break down their 38 game season, you can see they played 38. They won 25. They drew four. Lost nine. They scored 93 goals. Conceded 48. Had a goal difference of 45. And they finished on 79 points. So... When you look above them, they only finished four points behind the two teams directly above them, Barcelona and Atletico, but they did finish some way off of league winners Real Madrid. When we go to the profile and break down some of these stats, we had Lino getting 28 goals, Cavani got 28 goals, so a 56-goal partnership between the two strikers. 7.61 for Cavani, 7.54 for Lino. Gaia got 15 assists, Cavani 9 Player of the Match awards. In terms of clean sheets... Now, Dominic getting 10. Disciplinary, though, not good. 13 yellow cards for Falkier. Uh, Carrera getting 12 and Gaia getting 12 also. In terms of distance covered per 90 minutes, they have quite a lot of players on here. Yunus Musa with 14.66. Leto with 14.5. Almeida with 14.42. And Vasquez with 14.25. Going across to tackles per 90 minutes, Gaia with 4.40 and dribbles per 90 minutes, uh, Rendell Correa with 3.8 and Castillo with 3.76. So a fantastic season really for Valencia, get themselves into the Champions League. Let's go across to the competitions tab. We can see they were knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey by Levante. And they were knocked out in the semifinals by Betis in the Super Copa de España. So, even though Everton and Sassuolo's seasons weren't the best, when you consider the size of those clubs, for them to finish 10th and 9th is actually a big achievement. And then we move across to Valencia, where you can see this tactic really is quite powerful. Getting them into the Champions League. Okay, there's work to be done in terms of chasing Real Madrid. But you can definitely see that a second season and signing the right players, you'd be able to progress this tactic forwards. Right then, if you are still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you could hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I really, really would appreciate it. Uh, the support that I've been given across the past couple of months on the channel has been fantastic. Watching the channel grow, really, really cannot say thank you enough. And it's all down to people like yourselves who are watching the content and interacting. Before you go, don't forget, on the channel, we also have other tactic testing, including non-league tactic testers. We have one the kids let's plays hints tips tutorials rebuilds a little bit of something for everybody right here on the channel but for today's video i'm going to wrap it there big thank you for watching i'll see you on another video very soon